Okay, welcome everybody to the Viking Red Zone presents the Right or Wrong Tournament of Champions. Uh, we have went through two matchups in the first round already. We are getting ready to start our third matchup. Of course, Nathan Lamb beat Brandon Grigsby in our first matchup. He advanced to the semifinals. Lucas Moore and Matt Frazee went at it. Uh, Lucas Moore won 5-4 to four in that one. Lucas Moore advances to, to the semifinals too. Uh, we are going to start our third matchup which is going to put Samuel Bernard from the Nelson New York Buckeyes and Eric so Witt from the River Valley Raiders. So I want to welcome both of you guys to the show, man. How you guys doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for having doing, me. Yeah, doing great. Thanks for having me, Lug. I, I'm excited about this, too. So, Sam, I know, of course, you, you, you do stuff for the Nelson New York Buckeyes. I mean, you're kind of the, the – I, I almost call you the AD. I know you're not listed as an AD, but I'm, <laughs> that's kind of what you really are to them. So – no, uh, that's Rusty's job. <laughs> he's the AD and the coach. Is that what he does? He does. Yeah, it all? he's he's yeah. the athletic director. He's been it for a couple years now. So, uh, uh, no kidding. Yeah, he enjoys it. He's good at it. Yeah, well, I'm sure you take a little bit of the load off of him. I know. I know when it comes uh, to the press box, you kind of get all of us put where we need to be and things like yeah. that, which we. Uh, I, yeah, I do. It needs done, and uh, whether it's during practice or during the week or on Friday night or. Whenever I just try to get what needs done done, so that it makes it easier on everybody. Well, Sam, is, Sam is the a, the press box guru, is what I call him. Last <laughs> last year when we were there, Sam was all over the place checking on us, making sure we were all right. So he does oh, yeah. a great great job, makes you feel welcome at Nelsonville, York. You're I'll just buttering me up, aren't you? Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> he was out whenever we came there, I'll tell you that because I think there's about 250 people in that press box. It was there packed was a, that game. There was a lot of radio, a lot of everybody in that, that press box that I night. I think That's we pretty... had four radio stations that night for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There were a lot of radio stations last year. Did you notice that even? We one of, uh, yeah, 107, their AM stations doing games now. So now yeah. we got four, basically four stations doing games in Athens County. So. Wow. That's a lot, too. So I know also, Sam, yeah. just to touch base here, and again, we tried to. What we did is we tried to pull in the best guys from the area that we could that knew about sports and can, can kind of have a good debate and talk show. We're trying to get sure. this show promoted and off the ground. But one of the guys I thought of was Sam, and it's amazing because you also work for Southeastern Ohio Press, I think, I'm think i thinking, right? You actually work in the moderator department for them? Uh, yeah, I'm a mod for Southeast Ohio Preps. I'm orange and brown. Yeah, okay. So I do that too. So, that I mean, that's one of the main reasons we want to bring you in here because, I mean – Anybody that does anything, it's pretty much Joe Idol or Southern Ohio Preps, I think, in Southeastern Ohio. That's where everybody goes to, right? So, uh, I hope so, so. <laughs> it's a great place to go to debate. It's a great place to go to start some crap if you want to start some crap. But you know, Sam might point out <laughs> too nasty. So, but, so a lot of that. <laughs> so Eric Quinn also Eric's on the show before. He's actually done this right or wrong, by the way. He's got a little bit of a one up on you on that, Sam. But. Yeah, uh, I believe he's own one. I think he lost to Brad. I believe, I, right? I was going to say, I I don't know how much of an up I got on Sam because I am O and one. <laughs> well, there's a little experience back <laughs> there. So. But uh, Eric, you also do the River Valley broadcasting, which you do the radio for the River Valley. Uh, what's it like for you guys down there right now? I mean, is there going to be a radio broadcast at all? I mean, is football going to happen? Well, I, I tell you what, Lux. Again, thanks for having me and Sam. Good to see you as well. Um, I, I'm hoping so. I know Coach Peck, uh, the kids, the kids. Uh, once they were able to get back in the facility in the weight room, and uh, uh, now they're uh, pretty much every day. The kids are excited. The coaches are are doing everything to prepare for a season, and all we can do is hope that uh, on August was it 28th, I believe. Um, mm -hmm. I I hope to be sitting in the press box at uh, at Raider Field that night, uh, broadcasting a football game. Yeah, uh, me yeah. too, man. So I'm, I'm, yep, I'm yep. hoping I'm doing stats that night. So, so we'll see what happens. But uh, get a little crazy out there. So hopefully we got football. But yep. Okay, Sam. So this is how it goes. Eric's a little familiar with this. I'll explain it to you. I have three sure. categories that I ask. Okay, you guys pick the category, and then I read a statement from that category, and then you guys have to tell me whether it's right or it's wrong. And then you have to give me a debate on why, why it's right or why it's wrong. So that's okay. how it works. Now, Eric knows we usually do this in the studio. We have buzzers and you got to kind of buzz in and it's kind of a quick witted thing. You know, I'm using your name there for you, Eric, by the way, quick witted <laughs> thing where you have to kind of, you know, be, be on your toes a little bit. So for this one though, there's no buzzers. So 
whoever gets the question right just picks the next category and you'll get an answer first. So there won't be any buzzins. And then the other guy gets the rebuttal, kind of what you say or, or what you do. So how okay. you score a point is you just make the best argument. I'll pick the winner. Sometimes I'm right on picking the winner. Sometimes I'm wrong on picking the winner, but I'm the boss, so it's tough crap. It's just how it goes. <laughs> That's all I say. Uh, Brandon, I listened to oh. him for like two days yelling at me over his time with Nathan, and I'm like, I, I don't know what to tell you. So, but, uh, so anyways, all right, man, let's get it started. You, Sam, get to pick the category since you're the new guy, since, since Eric's the veteran. You get to pick the first category. The categories for today are Big Ten football. The NBA, which you guys are the first ones to get NBA count uh, things, by the way, too. So, and TVC Ohio. So you can pick any category you want, man. Which one you want to start out uh, with? You know what? Let's just jump right in head first. Let's go TVC Ohio. TVC Ohio. Okay. So, by the way, first one to five wins. Okay. So, three cat. We have three questions in each category, and in three categories, we have nine questions. First one to five wins. So, okay. Here we go. First question. Dave Tennant and the Megs Marauders finished last season tied for last place in the TVC with a 2-8 and eight record and going 1-5 and five in the TVC. Right or wrong, Megs will be the TVC Ohio champions in 2020. Tell me if that's right or wrong, Sam. That is wrong. Um, Megs didn't have a lot last year. They didn't have a lot on JV, and they sure as heck didn't have a lot in the junior high. They're, they're in for a rebuild, and it's going to take them four or five years. They got a good coach. Uh, I can tell you, Luke Richards, our, our offensive coach, uh, loves the guy, says he's a, a wonderful man, but he, he's got his work cut out for him right now. It's going to take him a little bit. Okay. Good job here. I got to I, I started the buzzer <laughs> finally. I told you guys to remind me to start the buzzer. I'll forget oh, yeah. It. I forgot. Hey, I'll hey just, Eric, start the buzzer. I'll just, hey, buzzer. <laughs> All right, Eric, tell me, is that question right or wrong? That I, I'm going to agree with Sam. That question is, is wrong, although I will say, I do think Lugs Megs is going to be improved because let's remember they still have Coulter Cleveland at the quarterback position, and that kid is a heck of a football player. I do think they will be improved, but no, let's be honest. It it's going to come down to Athens and Nelsonville, York, most likely, maybe maybe Vinton County, Wellston in there as well. But I'm sorry, Megs is not going to go from bottom to bottom to top like that. They've got too many too many. They've got too much of a rebuild coming coming the next couple of years. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, man. The, whether you guys kind of hit it on the head, I think that's wrong. I think a lot of people have Coulter as, a, as a, the guy that can carry a team, but I think last year showed that he can't do it on his own. So, uh, obviously, losing Bartram, I think, is a big deal for these guys. They've got to rebuild for a couple of years now, just get rid of him and his kids and, and everything yep. that they had. So, going to give this one to Eric, though, because you did bring up Coulter, and I think you're right. I think they are massively improved this year. I think they'll get back to the middle of the TVC. I don't think they'll be at the bottom, but I don't think they're the champion. So that's the only reason I'm leading towards Eric. So, uh, Fix is in. <laughs> here, here we go. Hold on. That upset the crowd, I think. That upset the crowd. So. <laughs> All right, Eric, you're up. You picked the category, buddy. Uh, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's go a little Big Ten football lugs. Big Ten football. Okay. All right. Ohio State. And Michigan State are the only two Big Ten teams to have made the college football playoffs. Ohio State making it three times, and Michigan State once. Right or wrong, the Big Ten will be represented by the Penn State Nittany Lions in the 2021 college football playoffs. Is that statement right or wrong, Eric? That statement is wrong, Lugs. Uh, I know everybody's going to say Penn State gets Ohio State at Penn State this year. I, I don't. I don't care. I know Ohio State. Lost a lot in the draft. Justin Justin Fields, that unbelievable wide receiver crew they have. They have an outstanding defense. Zach Harrison on defense. Um, so, uh, just, no, no. Ohio State is the undisputed uh, team in, in the Big Ten. Penn State will will not not be the representative. Okay, good job, Sam. Tell me, is that statement right or wrong? Uh, that's wrong. Uh, Penn State. I mean, let, let's look at it this way. The last 10 years, Penn State's found a way to choke every, almost every big game they ever play in. They, they beat one or two big teams, and then they choke against a team they shouldn't. It's going to keep happening. Um, you know, they're going to finish at the top of the Big Ten, and they might be a top seven or eight team in the country at the end of the season. But there's no way they can win the Big Ten, and there's no way they're going to make the college football playoffs unless they go to eight teams. So 
<laughs> Unless they cheat and, and add more teams into it, like high school's doing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll tell you what, both good points. I do like that you brought up about Justin Field, Derek, but I'm going to give that one to Sam. I think you got it. I think that, that they do choke, and I think that's the biggest point about Penn State. They'll be that one team. They'll blow the whole thing, and once they lose to that one team, they're not good enough to make up for it like a high state is. So point to Sam. It is one-to-one. Sam, you get to pick the category, buddy. Oh, well, let's go back to the TVC, see what happens. He, he, that's his wheelhouse. Sam wants the TVC. That's his wheelhouse. <laughs> oh. Um, okay. Okay, here we go. Oh, you're going to like this one, by the way. This is a little bit about Keegan. So, oh. Life after Keegan. It's normal to see the Buckeyes replace talent year after year with talent like Maiden replacing Edwards and Keegan replacing Alex Mount. But this season may not be as easy to replace a D1 athlete like Keegan Wilburn. Right or wrong? Coulter Snyder, Colt Snyder, I don't know if it's Colton or Colt, whatever, Colt Snyder, will not only carry the torch for the Buckeyes, but he will be the TBC Player of the Year in 2020. Is that statement right or wrong, Sam? He will be the Defensive Player of the Year in the TBC. Uh, that's right. Uh, he won't carry us on offense, though. We, we, we have enough skill position players and we have several guys that will run the ball. We're going to be running back by committee mostly this year. Um, uh, Snyder is going to be a part of that. He's slimmer and faster. He looks a lot better already this year. Um, he's going to have a big year. Senior year is going to be huge. But defensively, he'll carry this team. I mean, we got some other good guys, but he's going to anchor anchor that middle linebacker spot real well for us. Okay, all right. Uh, Eric, tell me, is that right or wrong? Will Cole Snyder be the TBC player of the year? Uh, are we are we allowed to go half right and half wrong on? on this? Well, <laughs> I know you got to pick a side, I, I, man. I do, I, from everything <laughs> I've heard about him, and and I know Sam talking about him too. I, I do think he's going to be one of one of the leaders to lead Nelsonville York. But as for TBC Ohio Player of the Year, uh, I think that re, that will belong to a young man that plays for the Athens Bulldogs. But um, I I don't know how to answer that, Lutz. I do think Snyder is probably one of the best players Nelsonville York has, but I I, I will say wrong on him being the TBC Ohio Player of the Year. Okay, well, I I, I kind of feel like I set Sam up for a loss on that one because he kind of has to go with Colt, doesn't he? I think that Eric's right, though. You brought up Joey Moore, and I think Joey Moore is going to get it. At least he's the front runner. I think think Colt has to have one heck of a year, plus Nelsonville probably has to beat Athens for him to get it also. So, but oh, yeah, guys, I, I, come on. We're beating I, everybody. Come on now. <laughs> Our well, cover I is not in... last year and you proved me wrong. I'll tell you that much. So. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what. At <laughs> halftime of that game when it was 28-7, we were looking around going, ha, huh, boy, we showed up to play. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. That was a, that was a whooping, wasn't it? So, yeah. That was impressive. It was a good night. It was a good yeah. night. Okay, I got to give that point, though, to Eric just because he brought up the Joey Moore thing. So All right. It is now two to one. So two to one, Eric. You are up. You pick the category. Um, I think we're avoiding the NBA here, Sam. So uh, let's do let's, it. Uh, let's, let's do it. Let's, uh, what the heck? Let's get an NBA one in there. In there. <laughs> okay, Sam told me he he likes the Bulls. I'm assuming he'd be okay with the NBA there. Do you not know I'm, much about the NBA, Eric? No, I'm I'm fine with NBA. I'm good. Right. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, here we go. Okay, I I, I like the NBA. It's already start up. I'm pretty excited. So yes, yes. Uh, I haven't been an NBA fan since about 2000 and probably three. So I'm kind of excited <laughs> how, how it's went the last couple of years. It's actually getting back to where it's fun to watch, but yeah. Okay. I agree. First, yeah. First question in the NBA, the NBA will wrap up their 2019 season starting July 30th and will run an eight game regular season as they head to the playoffs, right or wrong. The NBA pushing to finish this season will end up a resounding success and result in other sports mimicking them to continue other sports in America. Is that statement right or wrong, Eric? That statement is absolutely 100% right, Lugs. It's mm-hmm. already it's already started because baseball has already announced they're coming back. And I think the, fa- the fact that ba- basketball was the first to be out there and now baseball has, has followed along. And I'm telling you, if baseball and back- basketball are a success, we will have football in the fall. Mark, I, I really b- believe that. So, yes, this will be a success, and we will actually have sports finally back, back in the USA. I like it. I hope you're right. Sam, tell me, is that statement right or wrong? 
That is absolutely right. Um, the NBA is one of the most popular sports in the entire world. If they get going, which it looks like they will, uh, it, it will resonate throughout the, the, the world, through Europe, through, through the United States, through China. Everybody's going to watch, and you're going to see more and more sports trying to make it work. We've already seen, like Eric said, baseball's on their way back. I know there's some players that are opting out, but it's coming back this year. Basketball comes back. It's going to be huge because there's nothing else on TV to watch, guys. That's true, too. So, okay, this one really comes down to the fact that I think Eric buzzed in first because you both said the same points of emphasis. So, and as Eric knows on the show, the one who buzzes in first always gets the... I thought the, he the went right first. Part. So, it, 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 it's a sucky way to do it, but but the first one that comes oh, in when you oh, say oh. the same, you got to go with. So, Eric, you are up three to one, and you're taking the lead here. So, uh, righty. you get to pick the category again, man. Let's go. Hey, let's uh, let's go back to the Big Ten football. Big Ten football. Okay. Question number two. Big Ten. Minnesota Gophers were the shock of the 2019 college football season, going 11 and two and shocking Auburn in the Outback Bowl last season. Right or wrong, the Gophers will win the Big Ten West and make the Big Ten Championship game in 2020. Is that statement right or wrong, Eric? That statement, Lugs, is wrong. I I like Minnesota. I like what they did last year. I think they're, they're going to be a very good team again this year, but there's two problems with that. They lost a lot of people on defense, including An- Antonio Win or An- yeah, Antonio Winfield Jr. And they have to go to Wisconsin. That right there is why they won't win the West because they have to go to Wisconsin. So that is that is wrong in my opinion. Okay, Sam, tell me is that statement right or wrong? Will Minnesota win the West? That is absolutely right. PJ Fleck is a good, 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 good recruiter. I, I row the boat all day with that guy. That man is is one heck of a coach. Um, they lost some players, and, and, yeah, it's hard going to Wisconsin. I don't care who you are or, or which team you are going in there and playing. Minnesota's going to get it done this year. They're going to shock some people. That's a football team that's going to win some games off just grit and, and, and gutting it out. Okay. Didn't need the whole timer on that one. So, all right, I'll tell you what, Sam, you get the point on that one, and I'll tell you why. P.J. Fleck has done nothing but get better every single year since 2017 that he took over. Yes, sir. And bringing him up as one of the best college co- or Big Ten coaches is actually a huge point. Uh, I think Rashad Bateman, I think I think he's the best wide receiver in the country, not to mention I think their quarterback is the second-best quarterback in the country, Tanner Morgan, or in the Big Ten. So I, I think combine them two, they got the offense that they need. Eric did make a good point about the defense because they don't only did lose Winfield, they lost a couple other guys too. And their old coordinator, I think, took off and left for UCF, I believe, too. So that's a little bit of an if, but P.J. Flex proven it, man. I mean, it's not just one year. He's been doing this for the last three. So I'm going to give you the point on that one there, uh, Sam. Great job on that one. It is two to three, and you get to pick the category. All right. Let's go uh, Let's uh, finish out NBA. I believe it's the second question in it, right? Oh, that's right. Yep. That was only okay. one. You're uh, correct. Okay. The playoff race heats up with the eight-game regular season schedule just released, and it is being said that the Pelicans have been gifted the easiest road to the playoffs despite being three-and-a-half games out chasing the Grizzlies in the West for the eighth seed. Right or wrong, the Pelicans will make the playoffs sliding into the eighth spot ahead of the Grizzlies. Is that statement right or wrong, Sam? That's absolutely right. Uh, (laughs) Pelicans don't have to play anybody for eight games. I mean, let's be honest. They'll slide in. The Grizzlies are going to probably go four and four in that stretch, in that eight-game stretch, to be honest with you. Uh, Pelicans will probably win six out of eight of those games, and they'll sneak in. So, yeah. Okay. All right. Tell me, Eric, is that statement right or wrong? Yeah, unfortunately, it's it's right because because <laughs> the Pelicans – listen, I don't know if you, you two know this. You know I'm a high State. I'm a big Bengals fan. When it comes to college basketball, I am a Carolina Tar Heel fan. I hate Duke, or as I call them – Oh, with, boo! With, 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 Go the Duke! The reason this is happening is because the Pelicans have – we have to yeah. get Zion Williamson in the playoffs. I don't care that the Pelicans suck. <laughs> Zion has to be in, in the playoffs. Yes, it's right, but it's full crap. Well, it's right. Well, I, I, I'll tell you what, guys. I per- you guys are saying it's right. I per- Now, this is my personal opinion. This doesn't mean who gets a point or not either. I think it's wrong, and I'll tell you why I think it's wrong. 
I think you have to play the Clipper. Or you have to play the Clippers and the Utah Jazz right off the bat. And again, Utah Jazz half their players aren't going to play. I think so that might hurt them a little bit. I don't know if they've got a full roster or not, but if they do, and I'm going to assume they do. They lose the first two games they play out of that eight game series, and now they're five and a half, half games back with only six games to go and having to play the Grizzlies twice in that series. By the way, if the Grizzlies just pull out one, they locked it. So I don't think the, I don't think the Pelicans are going to make it, but. That being said, in the points that you guys made, I'm giving that one to Sam. Uh, I, I, I talked so much, I forgot your points, but I know I was giving you the points. So Sam, you got the point, three to three, pick yeah. the category, you're up. So. All right, well, what we got left? Uh, we have one left in the NBA. We have two, one left in the Big Ten, and I believe we have one left in the uh, high school. So uh, one let's, in the do the, let's do the Big Ten. Okay, Big Ten. So... Okay, the Big Ten Player of the Year frontrunners are Justin Fields out of Ohio State, Rashard Bateman, wide out from Minnesota, and Mika Parsons, linebacker from Penn State. Right or wrong, Mika Parsons will be the first Big Ten athlete selected in the 2021 draft. Is that statement right or wrong? Oh, that's a tough one. Uh, mm. I, I'm going to go with, yeah, yeah, right, he is. Mm. Uh, the guy can play play football I, I don't care what team he plays for he can play football uh he, he's kind of a freak man he really is he's fun to watch uh man he can move he's athletic he's strong i, I think he's the first player off the board in the big 10 okay uh eric tell me is that right or wrong i, I tell you what lugs this is such a tough one because we know that the nfl draft is so different than others it's more what they need than who's the best the best player. But with that being said, I'm going to say wrong because Parsons is very good. Bateman's probably the best wide receiver in college football. But because of this run of quarterbacks the last several years, I, I really think Justin Fields will, will be the first of those three to go because right now the NFL is all about quarterbacks when it comes to the, to the draft. Okay, I'll tell you what. I, in my personal opinion, I kind of agree with you, Sam, and I'll tell you why. I think, I think Micah Parsons is one of the best players in college football. Period, yeah. and I think Fields is actually behind Trevor Lawrence. But I, I'm giving the point to Eric because I think you're right. I think Trevor Lawrence goes one, and because of that, Justin Fields goes number two in the draft. And I think All Justin right. Fields will beat him over Micah Parsons because. I just don't know if a linebacker is going to be the number one pick in the draft, but I know quarterbacks do it all the time. So, so I, I got to give that one to Eric, but that was a close one, man. That was a good job. So four to three. So, uh, Eric got the point and you are up and we have one left in the NBA and one left in the big 10 or uh, one left in TBC. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's finish out the TBC Ohio. Okay. It's coming down to a good battle, man. Three to four saying this is good. So all righty, let's do it. Okay. Every season, some team overachieves in the TBC. In 2015, it was the Alexander Spartans. In 2019, it was the Wellston Golden Rockets. Right or wrong, one and nine, the team most likely to surprise the TBC this season are the Megs Marauders. A little different than winning the championship here. A little bit different. But uh, right or wrong, they will be the team that shocks the most people. Eric, you're up. Um, or say, uh, Sam up. No, it's, it's, it's yeah, me. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Pick. I, <laughs> I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say wrong on this lugs. We kind of talked about it earlier in the other. Uh, listen, Athens, uh, Nelsonville, York, Wellston, uh, Vinton County. Those are all gonna be there there at the top. That leaves your Alexander, your Megs, your River Valley. I'm trying not to be a homer, but I really do. I really do think we're going to be improved this year. And I, I'm not obviously we're not gonna win the TBC Ohio. But I do think we're going to be the most improved team in the TVC, TVC Ohio. So I'm going to say wrong. I think it's going to be the River Valley Raiders. And right, I'm he not got like 15 seconds extra on that. I think I got to cut off the last 15 seconds there on that point, Eric. But so. uh, he's okay, all Sam. right. He got started 15 <laughs> seconds late. <laughs> <laughs> right, right or wrong, Sam? Uh, wrong. Uh, River Valley will be the most improved team in the TVC this year. Um, they, they, they had some positives last year and it was working in the right direction. It just took them a while to get things going. I think they had an injury early that hurt them a couple injuries. As a matter of fact, uh, Megs is gonna, like, like I said earlier, Megs is going to struggle four or five more years. Um, eventually they'll come around. Every team does. 
Um, and I think Alexander's actually just a touch better than Meg, even with what they lost. Okay, I'll tell you. I honestly think Megs is going to be the surprise of the league. I think they're going to finish around third or fourth, I think, too, myself. You both said wrong. You both made some good points for River Valley, by the way. So, you know, but Come on. I, I'll tell you what, I, I, I think Sam hit it a little quicker. I got to cut off the last 15 seconds of Eric because when he started talking about River Valley. So I can't count that. I got to give it to Eric because he talked about it sooner. I'm going to make it four to four. We're going to get down to the final question. To get the winner in this one, okay? So, say Let's you can pick the category. Let's do it. The only thing we have left is Big Ten foot. Uh, what do we have left? The NBA? I think we have an NBA question. It is. It's the NBA. So, okay. Let's do it. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay. As the playoffs heat up, the Lakers appear to be the team to beat, despite the best record in the NBA going to the Bucks. Right or wrong, LeBron James will cash in his fourth NBA championship in the 2020 NBA playoffs. Is that statement right or wrong? Say it. That is absolutely right. LeBron James on a short schedule. He's going to go like a madman every single night. Nobody will stop him. Uh, it, it's insane. He might he might take it easy in that eight game stretch at regular season, quote unquote. But once they hit playoff time, he's going to be he's going to have fresh legs, no injuries. You will not slow him down. Lakers okay. win it all. All right. Eric, is that right or wrong? Lakers will win. LeBron will get his fourth NBA championship. Right or wrong? Read my lips on this one, Lugs. Wrong. Two <laughs> words. Oh. Freak. Freak. Oh. Freak, Lugs. Freak, freak. <laughs> this, kid, this kid is an absolute. I, he is a freak of nature. I, I don't. I'm an, I'm an Eastern Conference guy. I know that's not the popular pick. I, this might actually cause me to lose the game. I don't care. It's the Greek, it's the Greek freak. It's the, it's the Milwaukee Bucks and the Greek, Greek freak. With, uh, just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was all. Okay. Uh, I think here's the reality of this situation. I think, I think for one thing, I don't think it's going to be the Greek freak. I think that they've had the easiest path because he's just uh, depth wise. The East isn't what the the West is, so they're they pretty not weak. Of, yeah, they have a better schedule because of that. And that being said, the Greek Freak is an amazing player, but I think the biggest hurdle for the Lakers are still the Clippers. I think that's still the, the they won't. They, I don't think they're going to get past the Clippers, but if they do, I don't think they're going to have much trouble with the East Coast. But uh, Sam, you made some good points, you know. You're, but I do believe you're a little bit wrong on the schedule. I think all these games back to back to back are only going to hurt LeBron. However, I don't think it's going to matter because I still think he's the third best player on the own team he plays at because I think the three-point <laughs> shooter and A.F.T. Davis are both best and good enough to take him all the way anyway. So he literally just has to kind of play the cheerleader pretty much for the most part. So I got to give it to you, Sam, because I think you were the most right on that that, that very last question. So five to four, right. Sam, you squeezed it out, man. So eat it out. Eats it out. That was hard. Right before, <laughs> that was a heck of a battle, man. That was so close, man. That was, to be honest, that was a lot of fun. Uh, yeah, I, I think if yes, I could have got Eric fun. to say the Clippers, I might have went your way, dude. It just I couldn't buy into the Greek freak in the East Coast, so couldn't do it. <laughs> well, hey, 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 listen. When when I played this the first time, uh, Nathan beat me five to one. So. At least I'm improving, Lux. If we do this again, I'm, I might actually win. Hey, hey, if we do this again, you'll smoke me. That's it. It'll be over. <laughs> <laughs> we have Sam to take on Lucas Moore now in, in the semi oh. Is there oh, anything God. you want to say to Lucas while we're on here, dude? Do you want to give him any messages or anything? Lucas, okay. you're better looking than me. You're taller than me. You're more articulate than me. I'm coming for you, buddy. I'm coming for you.